Stop your droning, George Smith. I don't remember you being quite so pious when you were stuffing your pocket with other people's watches. Uh. I, William Brodie, late deacon of the rites in Edinburgh and sometime a member of the town council of said city, considering the certainty of my death, do therefore hereby execute my last will and testament. Having a royal successor to my means and estate, and nothing else to dispose of but my good and bad qualifications, I hereby dispose of them as follows. You, William Brodie, from your education and habits of life, I can offer no advice. It is much to be lamented that your vice... I shouldn't be here. I had the ideas for these robberies, but I wasn't stupid enough to carry them out myself. I'm a rich man, not a petty criminal. What difference does £150 make to me? And that time when we stole the tea down in Leith, I packaged mine up and left a trail of little parcels of tea all the way back to Edinburgh. Is it my fault that their rightful owner didn't think to look for them? I'm not here because of the magnitude of my crimes. I'm here to make sure that no one takes into their head to follow my example and make a hero of the gentleman thief. <laughs> Let them hope. I sentence these men to be taken from this place to the Edinburgh Tolbooth, and thence, on the first day of October, to a place of execution, to be hanged by the necks until they are dead. Remove the prisoners. To the magistrates of Edinburgh present and to come, I leave and bequeath all my knowledge of the law, that they may not be under the necessity in future of borrowing from their clerks, who are as ignorant as themselves. My charity and good deeds I humbly bequeath to the ministers of the Church of Scotland with this injunction, that they will not retail them among their bearers, but put them in practice themselves. If I cared so much about my soul, I wouldn't have been breaking the commandments in the first place. And neither would the Reverend Mr. Hall, who frequents the same brothels as I do. Hmm, who's next? Ah, but of course, my dear friend Mr. Creech. What will you be writing for tomorrow's newspaper, you old hypocrite? A report upon the execution of William Brodie. Brodie had on a full suit of black his hair dressed and powdered. Brodie, who mounted with alertness, deliberately untied his cravat and helped the executioner to fix the rope. Then pulling his nightcap over his face, he folded his arms and placed himself in an attitude of resolution. The platform dropped and so ended the lives of George Smith and William Brodie. It is well known that Mr. Brodie often professed his attachment to novels and the theater in particular, Mr. Gay's work, The Beggar's Opera, which features highwaymen and women of ill fame among its heroes. Surely it's time that such works were banned from public performance so the weaker souls may be protected from the pernicious influence. Have we not seen sufficient evidence of the harm that can be done? And so on and so forth. To William Creech, bookseller who has favoured the public with an account of my trial. I give and grant my honour and gratitude. And let him choke upon it. Everyone in Edinburgh will read his report. Everyone in Edinburgh will talk about it for years to come. And everyone in Edinburgh will forget who wrote it within a week. There's nothing like a good scandal to keep you in people's minds. And Creech will help to make me the scandal of the century. To my good friends and companions, Brown and Ainsley, I bequeath my villainy and whole other bad qualities, not doubting that their own will secure them a rope at last. May their souls burn in hell. That's right, George. Take a moment from your own salvation to damn others. Very Christian. They'll hang soon enough. 
and no one will care when they do. Think yourself lucky, George, you'll be hanging alongside me. Now, if you have to die a criminal, which you were always certain to, isn't it better to die a truly notorious one? You're here, Jessa, Mr. Brody. Thank you. A little something for your trouble. Ah, yes, do come in. I am at pleasure, as you see. Just dressed and powdered, if you please. Nothing too elaborate. And lastly, my neck being now about to be embraced by a halter. I recommend to all rogues, sharpers, thieves and gamblers, as well in high as in low stations, to take care of theirs by leaving off all wicked practices and becoming good members of society. Well, it would hardly do to encourage competition, would it? Brody's Will, written by Jennifer McGregor, directed by Cristiano Gucci Robertson, dramaturgy by Terry Howey. The cast were Robert Howitt as Deacon William Brodie, Gareth Morrison as Lord Braxfield, Mark Dixon as William Creech, and Gary Quinn as George Smith and the Guard. <laughs>